Hey everybody, we're a diamond to loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Generation Hopes video. Racist cops arrest black family. What happens next is shocking. Let's get into it, guys. Y'all are both under arrest for stealing those hot dogs. What? We didn't steal anything. Don't lie to me. I know you're kind, and you people are always you're stealing kind. things. We didn't steal anything, okay? We have these fair and square. You can ask the man over there. I've heard enough. Officer Cletus, arrest that kid. I'll handle this woman. What? You're oh, under God. arrest. That's what you get for stealing. He just knocked the kid's food out his hand. And he's a kid. You're not even supposed to arrest him like that. Oh, monkey boy. Monkey boy. You are under arrest. If you don't stop, I will use lethal force. Down. Hello guys, Early. today's video is sponsored by World Farm Adventure. Earlier we'll model them later. How are you feeling, baby? Are you excited? Of course, Mom. I can't believe you can win a million dollars just by playing Word Farm Adventure. I know, honey, that's amazing. Plus, you'll be learning a lot of new words and how to spell them, which is something that you need because you'll be going to college. You'll be the first one in our family going to college. Grandma would be so proud. What's wrong, Mom? It's just that ever since Grandma got cancer, we have some very expensive medical bills, and I don't know how much longer I can keep taking loans out to pay for it. Captain, look at this. What is it, Cletus? Look. What are these thugs doing? Thugs, and like, they're just, it's a mother talking to her son. Like, he's talking about something to look like they're doing some horrible whatever, you know? At our event, I bet they're planning on stealing the money. Or shooting up the place. I hate wow. people who look like them. Like my papa always tells me, if it's black, it's selling crack. My mama used to tell me. Wow, if it's black, it's selling crack. That don't make sense. Because I've seen white crackheads, aging crackheads. Like, come on now. Like, white people do it too, <laughs> you know? If it's black, you better watch your back. Don't worry, Mom. I've been practicing Word Farm Adventure back. every single day. We'll for sure win this. I'm such a smart, special boy, Jeremiah. And you know what? You're right. We've been practicing every day. There's no way we won't win this. That's the spirit, Mom. Come on, we're gonna be late. Come on, Cletus. Let's go arrest them before they cause any trouble. Yes, Captain. Wow, this is amazing. Can we go get a hot dog? Of course, baby. Excuse me, sir. How much is it? It's three dollars for one hot dog, five dollars for two. Wow, what a great deal. Let me get two. One more thing, because this is an annual War Farm Adventure contest. If you're able to solve this cross war puzzle, you can get in for free. Now that sounds like a deal. Get in for Come on, free. Jeremiah, let's get us some free what? hot dogs. Okay. We got this. Here you go. As you're completing the puzzle, I'll give you more facts about War Farm Adventure. You see guys, War Farm Adventure is the perfect combination of thinking skills and fun. War Farm Adventure allows you to solve cross war puzzles and complete war scrabble missions. There's so many levels to choose from with amazing locations to reveal, such as the farm and villa, and many more coming very soon. The more levels you win, the more tasks you get to complete and the quicker you get to restore the villa back to its former glory. The War Farm Adventure app is available now in Android and iOS. You can download it for free on the link in the description in this video. And if you click on the link in the description right now, you can get a welcome bonus. But you have to click on the link in the description in order to work. We did it! High five, baby! <laughs> Here you go, sir. All done. Congratulations, guys! You guys did it perfectly! Here you go, two free hot dogs courtesy of War Farm Adventure. Thank you, sir. Here you go, baby. Well, 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 what do we have here? Just as I suspected, a bunch of thieves. Excuse wow. me? Officer Cletus, arrest that kid. Yes, Captain. Mom, help. Let go of him, what do you think you're doing? 
Y'all are both under arrest for stealing those hot dogs. What? We didn't steal anything. Don't lie to me. I know you're kind, and you people are always- Oh yeah, because you're black and holding hot dogs in your hand, you stole them. What sense do that make, dude? Stealing things. I already told you, I didn't steal anything. Oh yeah? And if I was them, I would be like, look, the receipt right here. You know, that's why people should always keep their receipt. We were watching you from afar, and we saw you steal those hot dogs and didn't pay for them. You were watching us? We didn't pay because we had a discount. Oh, let me guess, the five finger discount? You thugs can't fool me. Mom, we're thugs? No, baby, we are not. We didn't steal anything, okay? We have these fair and square. You can ask the man over there. I've heard enough. Officer Cletus, arrest that kid. No, you didn't. I'll handle this one. That's why they died. What? You're under arrest. That's what you get for stealing, little monkey boy. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. If you don't stop, I will use lethal force. Down. Mom, why are they doing this to us? They're Did racist. They do something wrong? Go ahead, tell them. They're racist. Some people don't like us because of the color of our skin. They think because we look like this that we're criminals. I don't think I want to be black anymore. Don't you ever say that again, honey. Black is beautiful. Don't you let them break your spirit. I know that it's hard in situations like this, but you've got to stay strong. Do you understand me? Now you stay here while we run on your IDs and see and what- Just imagine like back in like, you know, uh, what, the 1950s and when racism was really going on. Like, it was worse than this. You know what I'm saying? And like, every like mother, every black mother and father had to be on their P's and Q's with their kids. They had to really teach their kids like, look, because we're black, we're going to be treated like this. Like, this is- everybody's gonna look at us different. Like, everybody who's not black is gonna judge us. You know, so they really had to be on their people kid cues with kids, man. And I feel like, you know, parents in today's generation, they don't teach their kids or really talk about it that much because, like, you know, white people accept us now. But, like, I feel like it should still be talked about because it's still people that are racist, you know? What other crimes you people have committed? What's going on here? Oh, hey, Mr. Watson. We just caught a couple criminals trying to steal yeah, hot dogs yeah, from your event. Trying to steal hot dogs from the event? Is that true? No, it's not true. We won these hot dogs by solving a puzzle for Word Farm Adventure. Yeah, right. These people lied through their teeth. Getting free hot dogs from playing a game? Who would ever oh, believe? Oh, yeah, I, I, my bad. I forgot about the uh, freaking Word, Word Farm Adventure. You know, what he should do is, like, when, if he's going to let somebody win food for free, I feel like he should still type up a receipt, give them a receipt to show proof that, you know, they didn't steal, like, these people didn't steal. Believe that. I would, because it's true. That's one of the event's many deals. I can't believe you did this to them. Well, now, release them this instant. Sir, I don't think you understand. I think I understand perfectly you know. fine. Now release them. Y'all racist. Baby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But my wrist hurts from those handcuffs. Look what you did to my son. He's bleeding at the wrist. He's How bleeding. do you not have compassion for kids? I told you we were innocent. You can't. Wow. Wow. Like they were that rough with him to make him bleed. You can't blame me. I mean, look at you. Anyone would think you were a criminal. No. Excuse me? You Why would anybody you think she's a criminal? She looks just like any other person here. Well, not really. What are you implying? That because I she's black, that she's like, a criminal? Like, racist people act so dumbfounded. Like, they don't say what they really want to say. Like, she gonna be like, not really. Like, they say stuff like, not really. And, but, you know, they look like criminals, you know, instead of saying, like, they're black, they gotta be, go ahead and say it. Say they're black, they're criminals, you know what I'm saying? Instead of saying it, they try to sugarcoat it and just like, look, dude, like everything you're still saying indicates that you're racist. So you might as well say the full thing. You know, back in the day, uh, when slaves was going on, white people was too quick to just say whatever, you know. They would be like, you're black, you're this, you're n-word, whatever, you know. They would be too quick to speak on it. Today, racist people try to beat around it 
and not really say what they mean like we still can't tell what y'all mean we still know what y'all what y'all are y'all y'all saying everything that indicates that y'all racist we know we you don't even have to say black or the n-word for us to tell that you're racist criminal i can't believe what i'm hearing I'm calling your supervisor and getting you fired off this event. Yeah. No, sir. Please don't do that. It was all just a big, a, a big misunderstanding. No, no, right, Cletus? Yeah, it's no, all it just wasn't. a big misunderstanding. Please, sir. She's talking about something, right, guys? Nah, I'm not on your side. No. <laughs> I promise you, it'll never happen again. Just give us one more chance. Okay, but if I catch you bothering these good people one more time, I'm calling your supervisor as soon as possible. Thank you so much, sir. You won't regret this. I hope not. Now get out of here. Come on, Cletus. Let's go. I'm sorry about that, guys. Please accept my apologies. Some people just don't understand that we're all equal, no matter what we look like or where we're from. You don't have to apologize for their behavior. Don't worry about it. Unfortunately, we've had this kind of treatment before. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Right, baby? I feel stronger already. Are you participating in the contest? Yes, sir, we are. And we're going to win this. That's the spirit. Well, come on, guys. Follow me. The event's about to start. I can't believe they got away. I mean, how are we supposed to protect our community if we can't keep criminals like them in jail? Well, Mr. Watson said they didn't do anything wrong. Mr. Watson's are real criminals, man. Mr. Watson doesn't know what he's talking about. He's probably underneath one of their black voodoo spells. Wow. Voodoo spells? Wow. Don't you know anything, Cletus? Voodoo is something black Y'all people do nothing. to get ahead in life. They cut chicken heads. Black people don't even mess with voodoo stuff. We don't like witchcraft and all that stuff. We hear about that stuff and we try to stay away. We run. That's how uneducated these people are, bro drink their blood for power then they cast spells on us good hard-working people hell no they must have casted plenty of voodoo spells on hey y'all watch the movies where people doing witchcraft and drink blood and doing different spells and stuff do y'all do y'all watch those movies every time i see a movie like that who is this white people doing it you don't ever see no black person in the movie doing that on you already what do you mean what I mean is, is I wish that we could get rid of all of them so this world could be a better place for people like us. I'm tired of everyone protecting these criminals just because they're black. Are you serious? Is that voodoo? She That's acts like, oh, just because they're black, they get special privilege. No, what are you talking about? You, y'all get protected because y'all white officers, whatever. You know, like they, what they, she switching it around, trying to make it seem like black people get special privilege because we black. We get the most hate because we black. It's not voodoo. That's just a fortune teller. But now that I think of it, maybe she can help me figure out how to get these criminals back in jail. Stay here, Cletus, and make sure none of these black people cause any more trouble. Wow. Hello? Anyone here? Well, hello there, little guy. I know how you feel. No, seriously. Whenever I failed at putting those thugs in jail, I felt weak, like I was made out of straw. I wish I could make all those black people disappear. And it's gonna work, cause this is witchcraft stuff. So it's gonna work. <laughs> Did Hello, it work? officer. I've been waiting for you, Karen. 
How do you know my name? It's my job to. And her name's Karen, too? What? I know. Come on, have a seat, dear. Oh, yeah, she know about her. The reason I am here is because. Give me your hand. What? Your right hand. Let me see it. Have you ever had your palm read before? No. This is the first time. She probably have very, very, very dark things coming her way. The left hand represents your inborn fate, while your right hand represents your destiny, affected by your acquired environment. There's four major lines. Your lifeline, heart line, head line, and fate line. If your lifeline and your fate line meet to Look, I don't have time for this. Let's get right to the point. Don't I want you. I know why you're here. I just like to chat with my visitor. Yeah, and that lady is not about to do that for you. She's not about to do that for you. Before they throw their lives away. What? What do you mean? You're here for power, aren't you? Yes, that's right. The kind of power to take lives at will. Yes. Especially those dirty black hood rats. You see, mm. I believe... I am aware of your beliefs, honey. And I have to warn you, they will only lead to destruction. You see, in this earth, we are all... Sip it, Grandma. I don't want to hear your speeches of equality. Wow, okay. I just want you to tell me how to get to the power to get rid of all of them at once. She's trying to give her some knowledge, and she want to be so stubborn all because she care about getting rid of black people. Well, there are many ways to acquire such power, but they all require you to give up something in return. Well, I will give, give them up. anything. The I don't back. care. Careful, careful with what you say, darling. Right, be careful. There are spirits all around watching and paying close attention. We don't want to attract the wrong kind. I don't care. I'm not afraid. She already attracts the wrong kind. You need to get her up out of there before she bring all the negative wrong energy to your, to your peaceful atmosphere. Afraid of any of them. As long as they can help me get rid of the dirty black people, destroying our communities and selling drugs to the kids, I'll give them anything. Okay. Wow. How did you do that? I didn't do anything. Look, you better calm you down and that. keep quiet. I put a spell around this place, but it can only control the smaller spirits. Now look, the reason I know why you're here and what you want is because I had a dream. So that's why I did that, because she kind of like, her attitude and everything kind of out of control, you know what I'm saying? Dream last night. And in that dream, I was told by your spiritual guide that I should help warn you away from your pursuit of power. But why? It's hard to explain. The dreams I have are not as straightforward as you think. They're full of symbols and metaphors. Try me. Well, in my dream, I saw a wolf hunting black sheep. But the wolf's teeth were gone, so it couldn't... And she's the wolf hunting black sheep because she hunts black people eat the black sheep so it started digging it dug until its paws were bleeding and as it was digging and it came away with a small figure made of straw did you say small figure made of straw <laughs> her because she the one that walked up in there and she picked up that straw looking voodoo doll thing yes why Where did that come from? What do you mean? It was right here on your desk. No, that's not mine. You need to get rid of it right away. What? What's a big deal? Just a little straw man. He wouldn't harm a fly. I said put that down. Now. Okay, okay, relax. Put it down. I'm putting him down. What's your problem? Please tell me that you didn't talk while you were holding it. You did. Why? Oh my gosh. Oh God, you did. What did you say? She said she was why all black people were banished away or something. Nothing, really. He lying. Tell me exactly you what lying. you said. She know you lying. I just said that I wished 
I could make all the black people disappear. What? Why would you say that? How is it that making a wish is the first thing you do while holding a creepy object in a place like this? Look, lady, right. I'm She's new to this whole thing. Right. How am I supposed to know the rules of what to touch and what not to touch? Don't you know how to read? Well, what do we do now? Well, for starters, let me tell you what you've gotten yourself into and what demon you've just unleashed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video oh. and thanks again. She just unleashed a demon and there's a part two. Yeah, I gotta find this part too. Um, but thank you guys for watching, man. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and.